What's up YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. I hope you guys are doing well out there on this beautiful warm Sunday evening. I'm doing well myself. I come across this particular story that I've been sitting on for at least a week now. And let's just say Oscarville strikes again. If you're familiar with the town that was drowned out by uh, the powers that be the enemy and now the the town is actually being covered over by waters that's called Lake Lanier. You understand? You'll understand what I mean about Oscarville. Oscarville was a thriving so-called black town that was basically washed away. Okay? And that's just what it is. But ever since then, there's been a lot of mysterious deaths that's been reported in Lake Lanier. Okay? Um... This one right here, for example, a um, 73 year old man is latest death at Lake Lanier after falling from fishing boat. Okay. Yeah. And wait till you see how strange, you know, his demise happened, you know, and I guess this is an image of Lake Lanier. Very, very beautiful looking place. But hey, with all these stories that has taken place with uh, Lake Lanier, there's something haunting and sinister going on in these waters and that's just what it is now to get into the article it says authorities said a 73 year old man drowned on wednesday may 29th after falling from his boat during a fishing excursion in georgia's lake lanier in a statement shared with people by the georgia department of national resources dnr the victim was identified as matthew mayo of gainesville okay Goes on to say, according to the DNR, Mayo was fishing off a bass boat with his wife before fall overboard. Okay, when the man tried to sit down in the seat, it became unbolted from the floor and caused him to fall into the water. He did not resurface. The department said. Now I saw this movie. They got probably about three or four installments of it could be more called final destination okay and all kinds of strange things was happening to people <laughs> you know when this shadow of death start you know following them around and like i can just see in this particular situation on that boat where the camera would just focus on the platform of the boat you know where the chair is bolted to and just start seeing the screws just start unscrewing themselves that's what it seems like to me and this dude tried to sit down and next thing you know he's overboard never to be seen or heard from again okay now to continue here a short time later game wardens were able to use boat monitor well boat mounted sonar to locate the subject in six feet of water hall county fire was able to use their ROV, remote operated vessel, to recover the body. The DNR continued. Uh, according to the U.S. Army Corps uh, of Engineers website, Lake Lanier, which is located in the northern part of Georgia, was constructed during the 1950s and is authorized for flood protection, power production, water supply, navigations, recreation and fish and wildlife management the lake boasts over 690 miles of shoreline and 76 recreations uh, recreational areas that is and is open to activities such as picnicking camping boating swimming hiking and fishing well with all the you know strange deaths and whatever down there that water man i wouldn't go near Lake Lanier you understand what I'm saying I mean come on now it gets into a, uh, <laughs> a little bit of like uh, like this place is haunted in other words like this particular part of the article says Lake Lanier has seen many fatalities over the years with some people describing it as haunted according to CNN Yahoo News and Teen Vogue uh, between 1994 and October 2020 there have been 203 swimming and boating related deaths in Lake Lanier, okay, per the DNR. 
Um, among the late Lanier related deaths was 11 year old Kyle Glover, the son of Ursher's former wife, Tamika Foster. Kyle was fatally struck by a jet ski while floating in an inner tube in 2012. Okay. And see, it don't care who it get. You know, that's the thing about it. You know, black, white, whatever. You know, there's a lot of people getting messed up down here at that lake. Okay. It says here in May 2023, Foster started a petition on change.org uh, to drain, clean, restore, and improve safety measures at Lake Lanier. She referenced uh, Kyle's death as one of the multiple tragic incidents that have resulted in the loss of innocent lives at the location. Okay. Um, goes on to say in conclusion here. In July of that same year, Lake Lanier saw three deaths occur in about a week. USA Today reported one of those fatalities, Thomas Milner, drowned and may have been electrocuted. Well, electrocuted, authorities told the outlet. The past October, excuse me, this past October, the body of Walter Juarez Gordado, I covered that story right there uh was recovered from the lake after he fell out of his jet ski and went missing per nbc affiliate wxia the dnr told people that there have been two drownings in lake lanier in 2024 okay and it just goes on to say right here for more people news make sure to sign up for our newsletter what have you so yeah, uh, Lake Lanier is not a place you want to mess around at. You know, it's got Oscarville underneath this beautiful, you know, landscape of lake right here. You know, uh, it was a black town that was actually washed away, drowned out itself. So <laughs> makes you wonder if avenging spirits are nested in this lake. You know, to basically uh, take revenge on whoever they can just because of this crime that took place. I don't know. But why don't you guys tell me in the um, comment section. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts on it. Like, share, and subscribe. People, please remember to live your life as though we are being watched simply because we are. This is James, and I'm out. Peace.